hello everyone welcome back again to my channel and if this is your first time coming to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video this video i'm going to sh show you how to draft a a lime mazigan i'm going to show you the formula on how to draft it on my first video i did a video on the first formula on how, on how to draft your a lime mazigan so this second video is all about another formula on how you can achieve your a line mazi gun so guys let's get started so what i'll be using today is my instrument this my tape measure my curve ruler my ruler as well and my ink so guys let's get started notice i have a line here which i draw this will be my starting point on my drafting so on this line here i'll put the neck width the neck width is three inches so on this pattern paper if you can see i have two pattern paper which are attached together and also the pattern paper i draw at the back of the pattern paper i draw out my zipper allowance here is two inches so all my draft will be behind the zipper allowance so the first thing i'm going to do here is this on this line which i draw here i'm going to put my shoulder width my shoulder width is three inches i mark it then the neck depth i'll use for this tutorial is going to be five inches i mark it so now i'm going to connect the cup from here to there so now the next thing i'm going to put is my shoulder to shoulder my shoulder to shoulder is 18 divide by 2 i get 8 then half an inch for two now i get eight and a half so i'll go here like this behind the zipper allowance i'll put eight and a half then i'll cut that by one inch then i'm going to connect from here to this place that will start be my shoulder slope so now i forgot to tell you guys if you want to fold your fabric Use the highest part of your body measurement to fold your fabric and add like 7 inches of material to your uh, highest body measurement. For example, if your, if your hip is 45 divided by 4 is 11.3, if you want to fold, you can add 7 inches to the fabric, it will not be 18.3 or to be on this first, I had like 8 inches to it. So let's continue. So after doing this, Marking out my shoulder slope. Then, oh yeah, I'll now put my ham hole. My ham hole is six inches for this formula. Six inches. Then I connect from there to there. So, after doing this, the next thing for me is to bring out the length of the dress. So the length of the dress is gonna be thirty-one inches. So from here, I go to my shoulder slope. I'll now bring out thirty-one inches. So we shall have here. The one inches so as you can see i've already draw a mark here to show my the length of the dress so the next step is to now bring out our straight body measurement so from this shoulder as well my straight body measurement from my shoulder to my bust is eight inches from my shoulder to my under bust is 11 inches Then from my shoulder to my waist is 16 inches. Then my shoulder to my hip line is 22 inches. So having done this, I'm going to roll it out this way. So this is now my bust line. So yeah, it's gonna be my waistline. And here is going to be my hip line. And here is going to be my the length of the dress. So for my under boss, I don't need my under boss measurement for this formula. So I, that's why I did not rule it out. So I just leave it. And what I did is just my bust line, my waist, my hip, and the length of the dress. Next step for me to do is now to put in my round body measurement. So, 
my bust line my round body measurement for my bust line is 44 divided by 4 what i have is 11. so at my bust line i'm going to add 3 inches to it making it 14 inches so i'll take my tape measure i'll go to my bust line i go to my bust line i'll put in 14 inches yeah like so So you can see what I have here is 14 inches. The next one, I will now go to my waist measurement. My round waist measurement for 42 divided by 4, what I have is 10.5. So I'll have 2 inches to it, that'll make it 12.5. So I'll go here like this. I'll put in 12.5 for my waist. I'll mark it out. So now, I'll go to my hip. My hip round, quarter of my hip round is 11.3. So I'll add 3 inches to it, making it 14.3. So from here, I'll put in 14.3 here, like so, on my hip line. Then, the length of my dress is you know it's already 14 at my hip so i had one inches to it make it 15 inches so at the length of my dress here i put in 15 inches if you want it to be very a line you can put more like make it 17 inches if you want to so you know my hip line was 14 so I added 3 inches downstairs at the length of the dress making it 17 inches which I put here because I want it to be really to really, to have more more room for the A-line so I've done this so the next thing I'm going to do is to find the mid spot of my hand hole remember my hand hole was 6 inches so the mid spot is, uh, is 3 inches so I'll go here like this I put in three inches then I'll come in by half an inch so have I done this so on my chest line I'm going to put in my round chest measurement round chest measurement is 38 divided 38 by 4 what you get is 9.5 so I'll put here 9.5 9.5 then I'm going to add 2 inches to it for ease of movement and sewing allowance put it here so now the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to use my curve ruler to create a curve from here to this place you see the curve I'm going to create from here so so I'm going to create a curve with my curve ruler from here like so So, having created the curve, the next thing I'm going to do here, let me just throw this out. I hope I'll do it nicely. Yeah. So, for the back panel, I'm also going to create a curve for the back ham hole. But this one is for the front ham hole. So, for the back panel, I'll create a curve from here to this place. So, having done this, the next thing for me to do is to now connect the spot from here to the waistline, to the hip line, and to the length of the dress. So I'm going to use my my straight ruler to connect the curve from here to this place. Then I'll go down like this and connect as well to the hip line. Then to the length of the dress like so so you can see the a-line shape goes down that way 
So, have we done this? So, at the shoulder slope here, we know we need our allowances for to attach our shoulder. So, you just follow the shape half an inch like this. I go up like this, I follow the shape half an inch. I'm just following the shape of the shoulder slope. So, this is shape of the shoulder slope. I had a half an inch to it for your sewing allowance. So, for the back panel, the neck depth to the back panel, yeah, you know the front was five inches. I'm gonna make the neck depth for the back panel three inches. You can make yours two inches. It totally depends on you, on how you want it. So, yeah, I'll make it two and a half inches. Now use my curve ruler to connect it. Oh, I can't, I can't do it properly. So I'll use my free hand to connect it anyway. So, so that's it guys. This is the formula you can use to create your A-line gown, Mazi gown. It's two ways. I did a first video on how to create the, the one with just three measurements. This is the full body measurement to the to the hip and to the length of the dress. So I'm going to cut it out for you to see. But if I tell not to cut it out, you just follow. If you want to cut the front panel, follow the shape from here. Or you watch my first video, the part one of the video. There, I took my time to cut it out. So I'm going to use the same formula to cut it out. You cut from here. To this place this place and to this place and you first of all cut at the front ones from there to this place here there and to there so let me cut it out for you to see as you can see friends i will take up the the front panel sorry my part my pattern paper is folded so you can see the shape here you can see the a-line shape so what i'm going to do here now is to take off the front panel so you can see this is the back panel i'll use my paint to pin it down so you can see it properly so this is the back panel you can see the shape goes from here to this place so from the front panel i'm going to cut off the neck of the front panel from here from here this way this way then i'm going to cut from this place from this part here this way to this way so you can see the front panel the ham hole is more covered inside and the neck is deep which is five inches i sorry i forgot to cut off the back neck for my back pattern so this is the formula you can use to achieve your a-line dress mazi gun so i hope you like this tutorial if you do please don't forget to subscribe and share my video so for now one piece on love and bye for now